here bringing a Bible blessing on the Bible doctrine of the rapture. Today, I want to answer a simple question. Is the doctrine of the rapture biblical? Or is it a fallacy that Christians should reject? I want to answer this question in a very simple and straightforward way. I want to make two points of comparison. As these points are made in the scriptures, and as we compare these two points, we can draw the necessary conclusions. Let's begin with the first point. The first point is this. In the New Testament, the rapture is described as a signless event. And you can read this for yourself in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. And there, this event is described as taking place as a thief in the night. Now, why does the Apostle Paul describe this event as being like a thief coming in the night? Well, because there's no warning. It's an imminent event, a sudden event, an event that no one can predict. It's timing. By contrast, the second coming has many signs preceding it, many perceptible signs that we can notice and that are a warning to us. And we can read that for ourselves in Luke chapter 21, verses 11 to 15. There are many signs that will precede the second coming of Jesus Christ. And we are to take notice of them and Jesus gives them to us in Luke chapter 21. So when we compare these two events, one that is signless, described as being like a thief in the night, sudden and imminent, the other having distinct, distinct and noticeable signs that we're to take warning of, we realize that they can't possibly be the same event. The second point that I wanna make, the second comparison that I wanna make is this. At the rapture, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 and 17, tells us that we will be caught up and we will meet the Lord in the clouds and in the air. There's no mention of Jesus Christ setting foot on earth. The saints, the dead in Christ shall rise first, and we that remain shall be caught up or raptured, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. By contrast, the second coming, Christ comes to the earth. And that's described in Zechariah chapter 14, verse four. It says that he will set foot on the Mount of Olives. And also in Revelation chapters 19 to 20, he comes to take vengeance on his enemies. He comes as a king, being king of kings and lord of lords. And chapter 20 describes him setting up his millennial kingdom, a thousand year reign of Christ on earth. So I want to challenge you to look up these verses that I've given you. I'll put them in the description below for further reference. And of course, there's many other points of contrast between the rapture and the second coming that we can notice. But I want to begin with these two, because if you can see the difference here, it can help you to see and to come to the conclusion that these two events are distinct and different and cannot possibly be the same event at all. So this is today's Bible blessing. The rapture is a Bible doctrine. The rapture is true and it's meant to be a comfort to the saints. Prophecy is a very important subject in the Bible. It's often neglected. It's a difficult subject to master, but it's meant to comfort and encourage the people of God. So this is Dennis Corkery today. Thank you for joining me. I want to encourage you to subscribe to Bible Blessings Ministries. Give me a thumbs up and leave your comments below.